Good morning, good morning. I hope you're safe and well. Well, today is a big anniversary in coronavirus terms. It's day 500. It's not something that we ever thought we'd see, but as things stand, we are still under lockdown restrictions. Not a very happy anniversary, I feel. Anyway, leaving that on one side, what I have for you today is something to do with human factors. Now, human factors is a huge part of process safety. We, we've started to understand in the last what, 10, 15 years just how important um, the decisions that are made by people at the time of an incident can be. And also how important it is to try and have systems that engineer out the potential for poor decisions to be made. Uh, and that's something that I think about in, in when I'm thinking about process safety. But decision making in general is also something that I'm really interested in. So I was very interested uh, to come across a new acronym the other day called HALT. Uh, now, this has actually come out of addiction where they use a couple of acronyms, HALT and BENT. Now, in the um, addiction world, HALT stands for hungry, angry, lonely or tired. And BENT stands for bored, emotional, needy, and I'm not sure if it's tired again or if it's something else. Anyway, uh, what someone's done is they've taken that HALT acronym and they've turned it into hungry, angry, late or tired, which, of course, applies to any of us. And I know myself, you know, when you're when you're rushing somewhere in the car, you're more at risk of you know, not noticing a red light and things like that. So it struck me as being a really, really interesting and good thing to to do so what i've done is i have taken all my experience in making poor decisions and making better decisions as a result of those poor decisions and i've turned it into a sketch note which i'm going to put below this video uh and uh which which sort of summarizes the 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 halt principles and it also has some other things that, that may aggravate the situation for example if you're not well if you're too hot if you're too cold if you're suffering from emotional stress because something's going wrong in your life somewhere these can all aggravate the condition but then there are also some ideas of what you can do to try and make a better decision or to postpone that making that decision or to get help so i hope that's that's useful for you now the other thing you'll be thinking is never mind that what is the reasons to be cheerful for today and so the reasons to be cheerful today, it's Alexis Sale again, and this one is childhood. So again, popping it below the video. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow if we're spared. Take care of yourselves. Bye.